Machiavellianist Illuminati All through your body The blows like a 12 gauge shot Feel me the the side. Let me tell the whole world. All right, tell me right. why you did what you did. Menace to society. Check this out. They fired me, but did it in a roundabout punk snitch way. So I caught them on the streets and beat they behind. Only Gab can do it like this. Yo, what up? Welcome. To Machiavelli Media. I'm your host Gav. What's poppin', what's poppin'? You know, I sit back and watch the Tupac community the last couple months. And you know what I noticed? God damn, it's some dry shit without me. <laughs> God damn. God damn, shit was dry. Shit was dry, man. Not saying I'm all like, but I brought a lot to the goddamn table, man. I ain't gonna bore you with my long resume, but I will tell you this. I have some knowledge about the Tupac estate, about his up and coming biopic, and who will be directing it, and who won't be directing it. So let this soak in a little bit, you know what I mean? Let it soak in. Let the motherfucking the words vibrate for my voice penetrate through your pores, you know what I mean? Let the hair stand up on your motherfucking arms for a minute. Because I got some information about that. There's something you may know, most of you won't know. But I'm about to drop it right now. Steve McQueen, the director of 12 Years a Slave, is no longer directing The Estates Tupac a documentary. I know I said biopic earlier. Y'all misspoke. I have no idea exactly what it is at this point. But I know his ass is out. Why? Don't get me to lie. But who's in? It makes a lot of sense who's in. I just hope they're still not carrying the grudge. With no further ado, the new director is Alan Hughes. That's right. The Hughes brother, the Tupac, put paws on. <laughs> but you know what, though? Alan Hughes, man, is an incredible director. I'm not sure if his brother will be involved in this, you know, documentary or biopic, whatever whatever they decide to make it, because they're working on it now. But I watched Menace to Society the other day, and that brother captured the whole feeling of what was going on in the mid early 90s on the west coast I wasn't there but he captured it and that's the beauty of it I didn't have to be there to know that was authentic you could look at it I mean that the way he captured Minutes to Society was genius and the budget was very minimal Tupac said it was like a hundred thousand dollar budget and you know it, it I just imagine Given the proper, you know, budget and, you know, leeway, he could probably make a phenomenal Tupac biopic. But, you know, from what, from all, you know, all a, what I'm hearing, I'm hearing that it's, you know, a documentary. But either way, either way, I mean, he's going to do an excellent job. I just hope the brother still ain't holding some animosity in Tupac. You know, I heard him speak some time ago with Sway. And he was like, yeah, still wrestling with the idea that people think that Tupac kicked his ass. And he was trying to say that Pac couldn't fight, basically. And I'm saying, what do you get out of saying that? What do you gain by saying Tupac couldn't fight other than trying to dispel the fact that Pac put hands and feet on you? You know what I mean? That's what I was getting out of that. Like, yo, still sour about that shit? God damn, nigga. The black eye done held up. Busted lip went down. Let it go. You know what I mean? Let it fucking go. But if he gives it his all, man, you know, he gonna knock it out the fucking park. But you know, the history between Tupac and Alan Hughes ain't been all bad. I mean, Alan Hughes directed a couple of Tupac videos. I mean, he, 
He knew Tupac. They had a good working relationship up into Minutes to Society. So, you know, Alan Hughes would be the perfect man for the job, you know. One of the perfect men for the job, I would say, anyway. But Mr. Steve McQueen is, I didn't, I didn't think Steve McQueen was the right guy for the job anyway. See, Alan is from there, you know what I mean? Alan, you know, is from the Bay, and you know, he grew up in the hip hop culture, and he knew a lot of rappers, he was around a lot of rappers, he directed music videos, he talked like he one of the people, you know what I'm trying to say? Alan Hughes is like, I mean, um, Steve McQueen is like, I can't put my finger on it, but it's a misconnect between like urban hip hop culture and, you know, him. I could be fucking wrong. He could be B-boy number one, soul brother number one, but it just, it just don't appear to be that way. And I think, you know, the estate watching his, him do his due diligence and him doing what he do, I think they came to that conclusion also, like, yeah, this might not be, you know, his cup of tea, <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe if he was doing a Shakespearean or, you know what I mean, some some theatrical, you know, classical music presentation or some shit like that, maybe he'd be better suited for that. But this right here, no, nah, I think he was way out of his league. But what I really think sealed the deal was Alan Hughes' work he did on the Defiant Ones, the documentary he did for um, Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine. That was, you know, that was not was short of spectacular what he did with that. And um, that just makes me think right there, why would the estate want another documentary when we just seen something modern with the Defiant Ones? I mean, it's got to be a biopic, y'all, but I could probably, I could be wrong, but if I was the guest, I would say it probably is a biopic. But anyway, Alan Hughes is in, and I'm all in as well. I would love to see what they come up with, got my attention. You know what I mean? I want to know what you guys think. I need you guys to know something. I need your help. I'm building this channel here. If you like what I'm doing and you, you know, you've been rocking with me, you've been in the trenches with me, we got our hands dirty together. If we ever shared a laugh with each other, you know what I mean? A lot of guys tell me they miss, they miss me doing my work, man, on YouTube because it would bring them and their girl together. Them and their girl would watch a, a Gab and Sam video. Well, you know, the Gab used to make me think. I miss that shit. I'm back. But I need your help. I need you to help me build this channel, man. Put it out there. Tell people about it. Machiavelli Media. Put it out there for me. Share the video, subscribe to the channel, and like it. That's all I ask. It's a little bit of your time and effort. Let's do it. Anyway, this your homie Gab. I'm signing off. It's been a pleasure as always. But to hit y'all with the peace. Machiavelli in this Illuminati, all through your body. The blows like a 12-gauge shot it.